Welcome back to Texas Today. February is National Heart Health Month, and we want to help you prevent heart disease with recipes that you'll actually eat. Karina Heinrich from the Karina Method has you covered with delicious dishes that pack both color and flavor. Happy Heart Health Month. Hi, I'm Sky. And I'm Karina, and we are so excited to be here today to show you how easy it is to incorporate heart healthy foods into your meals. February is National Heart Month to bring awareness to heart disease. And it's the month of love. It sure is, Sky. So let's show some love to our hearts and remind everyone that what you put onto your plate can drastically influence every aspect of heart health and greatly impact your risk. Choosing the right foods can lower blood pressure, cholesterol levels, inflammation, and triglycerides. The Karina Method is an extremely heart healthy diet that's filled with good for your entire body foods. Incorporating the foods that we're sharing with you today into your diet will support your best heart health. I love all of these foods, Mom. It's easy to fall in love with these foods, especially berries. They're my favorite. They're mine too. And did you know that berries are super high in heart healthy antioxidants and vitamins? and an amazing source of fiber. I also love leafy greens and veggies like spinach that are excellent sources of vitamin K. They can help reduce blood pressure too. What about avocados, Mom? <laughs> I try to eat at least half an avocado a day since we know that they can help lower cholesterol and blood pressure. And they're high in potassium, which is a nutrient essential to heart health. I also make sure to cook with extra virgin olive oil and snack on around one fourth cup unsalted nuts and seeds. Pumpkin seeds are my favorite. <laughs> Mine too, we include them in a lot of my recipes. Salmon is also one of my favorites as well because salmon can help reduce heart disease risk factors plus it's delicious and super low in calories. I love sipping on green tea since it's high in antioxidants that can fight inflammation. It's optimal to drink three to five cups of green tea per day. Okay, Sky. so now it's time to teach everyone how to make my Karina Method homemade granola that incorporates almost all of these heart healthy foods. So I want you to start pouring in all of our nuts into our mixer. You can use any of your favorites, just make sure they're unsalted. Some of our favorites are walnuts. You can pour those cashews in, unsalted pumpkin seeds. You wanna pour in around two cups of oats. We use gluten-free, but you can use, again, whatever oats that you love. You pour that in, go for it. So I pour all those pumpkin seeds in. And here's more almonds to pour in. We also use one cup of steel-cut oats. There you go, pour it in, Sky and one third cup of chia seeds, which is a lot of your fiber. Okay, you can pour that in. I will pour in the maple syrup. So we're using natural sweetener. So this is half a cup of maple syrup. You can use honey if you prefer. I love Manuka honey. And then for the heart health, we also use half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. There you go. And you can pour in two tablespoons vanilla. So again, this is a little more of your sweetness. And I make sure to add in cinnamon in just about any of my recipes because I love it so much. A great sweetener, but also great for heart health. So when you're mixing all this up, you're gonna be preheating your oven to 300 degrees. So once you pour all this in, we mix it up. You wanna put the mixer on Sky. So make sure it's all mixed up. Once you're done mixing, you can pour your mixture on a lined baking sheet and cook for around 35 minutes. Once we get it out of the oven, that's when we're gonna add our dried fruit. Look how beautiful and yummy this is, and our whole house smells delicious. So this is when you add in your dried fruit. So Sky and I love dried cherries, dates, dried cranberries, but you can really add whatever you prefer or no dried fruit at all. So Sky, here is our end granola, and I know you love to make little parfaits, right? So here's your yogurt. Why don't you add a little bit granola on top? There you go. We have just made the yummiest heart healthy parfait. We hope you enjoyed. Happy Heart Month. Karina, thank you so much. And for more information on the Karina method, visit KarinaHeinrich.com.